Hey Scorpio, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your first half of August love reading. So generally the first through the 15th. Uh, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, so if you would like to get a personal reading from me, you can uh, just check the description box below. There you will find links. The PayPal links, uh, they take about a week to deliver. Or you can download the Instant Go app. And with that app, if you have the iPhone, you know, you can um, contact me directly and I'll have a reading for you within 24 hours. Or we can just chit chat, talk, text, whatever y your preference is. Um, so if you guys want to follow me on Instagram just look up at Moon Pytero and uh, if you are an Instagram user I like to post little tidbits I'll pull some cards for the week and do some predictions there and we can just chit chat I respond much better there okay um, There's also links there if you want to get readings from me. There's links to show you how to do that. Um, I'm trying to think. I think that's it. I do have a little announcement at the end of the reading, so if you don't mind staying to hear that, it's super short. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, if you're new, hello and welcome. And please do click the bell so you can get notifications of when I upload readings, which are every two weeks now. Okay. I'm going to give it one more shuffle, Scorpio. So this is going to be for love. Because everybody loves love. <laughs> Feeling in here. Okay. Alrighty. Scorpio, you're starting with the star. I hope you can see this. Two of Cups. Ten of Swords. Ace of Swords. Gonna have to move these. King of Swords. Yikes. Justice. Okay. Um. There's like a bug walking across my table. Let me just move this so you can see it. I have too much stuff here. All right. Well, Scorpio, I will tell you that you have or will be <coughs> having communication or maybe having communication this uh during this time period truthful communication um, possibly over some conflict either from the past or uh, discussing uh, about overcoming some conflict um, because the ace of swords is always uh this this can be about new ideas see because you have the ten of swords here the ten of swords represents a complete and painful ending uh hitting rock bottom and for some of you back problems um but this is a love reading so you know unless your lover kicked you and you fell over the table and hurt your back then um you know, I mean, that would count, but, and please, oh God, if that happened to you, oh, please, I hope not. Anyway, l let me not get too deep here. So the Ace of Swords, again, the Ace of Swords is a communication card, a new, new communication starting about some possible betrayal or someone, you know, someone at the at, you know has finally or will possibly finally be hitting rock bottom 
you know there there's just nowhere else left to go for this person all the swords have been fully delivered you know ace of swords two of swords three of swords four this is all of them this is the cum uh, culmination of the entire sword uh progression and there's none left okay and uh there may be, be communication about the very first sword that someone felt or that the very first betrayal because they feel like there may have just been betrayal after betrayal or if there wasn't like 10 betrayals just um coming to this place where someone's no longer able to keep fighting it's like just it's a it's complete it, it's done the ten of swords though um you know you have to see all that light up here like the clouds are starting to clear and so that's what happens you know when you hit rock bottom and you can't go any further the only way left to go is up and you know the clouds begin to open again that dull dreary grayness you know it, it starts to settle and and this blue sky begins to come out you know and this does have to do with love because do you see the rose there that she's holding you know it's like just done so i kind of feel like um there will be new communication about overcoming conflict or how to overcome these this conflict okay so you have the star here and I, I like to clarify the major arcanas and anything else if i feel it at the moment the star card is beginning to get your hope and your faith back <coughs> this is also renewal um <coughs> now when i say renewal i I don't necessarily mean it, it can fall along the lines of you know um, reconciliation but I, I don't want to like feed you that I just am feeling renewal having hope again having inner clarity and sometimes this has to do with a miracle happening I'm not taking that and the two of cups is here next to it so this is about a meeting of the minds with someone okay and this is the water sign so um, you know this could have something to do with the energy of water not it may not necessarily be a water sign for some of you it could be with an Aquarius or a Libra um, but that that's just for those of you uh, who don't have anyone and there's no one been anyone this could be for you um, but if there is someone for you and it doesn't match a sign that I said it then it would just be the energy but the star card is a beautiful card this is you know this is having this is coming out of some type of depression or you know and giving back to the to the world and pouring your emotions out and being able to and to share them with someone and so this two of cups is romantic love partnership proposal marriage I'm gonna just clarify the star card I'm just going to give this a quick shuffle though. It just kind of felt like a buzzing and it's telling me we need to shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Okay. So the energy of the star card, what is the energy of this star card besides renewal, hope? That can be birth for some of you if you are hoping to get pregnant um, that could happen and hence the word miracle this can also represent celebrity 
or, or some of you dealing with a celebrity. Hmm. So the four of four of pentacles sits there. So I feel like this is, you know, whatever you've had, you've had a shield up or you've been blocking. Look how protected this person is. And standing on those pentacles. Blocking his thoughts, her thoughts, blocking the heart, staying grounded, but not letting anyone in. Um, but, but also having a desire for long-term security because all of those pentacles represent from a monetary point of view, security. So having, you know, um, desiring long-term financial security, long-term, uh, romantic security, but this also is, you know, fear of change. And I feel like something's going to be happening to you during this time. You may meet someone or have a renewal with someone that will open you up and that will give you your hope and your faith back. Now, for some of you, you are dealing with a, um, an air sign because of the king of swords here. So, and it doesn't have to be air sign would represent Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Again, it doesn't have to be an air sign, but I will tell you that the King of Swords has he's a very powerful and intentional person. The things that this person says uh, can be, they're very shrewd, can be quite, you know, this is someone who just tells it like it is. Truthful, fully honest. For some, it could be a Virgo because um, of the uh, mercur mercurial energy in the air. As a uh, messenger, this person likes to talk. Um, uh, this person's logical, self-sufficient, and again, truth-telling. And that's what the swords are about. And so there's all this, this truth-telling energy that's happening with a particular person because of these swords here. And I feel like you're going to be able to overcome some obstacles either in a relationship or uh, about a relationship. And with justice here, you know, again, it's justice, but there is a sword here. So this is a card of truth and this is also a card of karma this card can represent a win-win solution it's actually looking really good for this you know two weeks now, someone may reach out to you or you may reach out to another person to try to put an end to whatever problems had occurred. So the Four of Cups and the Six of Swords. There was apathy here. Love that was offered that was not accepted. And a necessary transition had to occur. So for some of you, there could just be communication again with someone that you cared very deeply about that needed to kind of close fully so that someone could move on. You know, and so this could be the other person telling you, uh, you know, it could be resolving an argument that kept you in this state of feeling just beat, worn out, and done. Um, but I don't necessarily feel like there will be... Uh, I mean, for some of you, it could 
set things right so that you both could move forward in your lives separately but i don't feel like that really is the case mostly because um there's two people here going together so i'm really picking up that it's telling the truth and setting the record straight about um <coughs> The fact that love was not accepted and maybe there was a fear of moving forward with the relationship. I mean, it's just so cut and dry, really, for you guys. But I love that this, the star is next to the Two of Cups because this... You know, they said like the two of cups is like an offering. This is two people who are on the same page. And you know, Scorpio, you might be exhibiting this star energy as well, too. And I feel like you are going to be getting your hope back, perhaps about this partnership or 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 new one because the two is really just the start but I kind of feel like since the ace of cups is not here the ace of cups represents a new love interest I feel like this is someone that the, uh, the love inter love has already been established you know um, so if we had the ace of cups that would be kind of like meeting the first time having a new beginning and then we go to the two of cups kind of and then we've got like you know uh, this coming together the ace to me is always the one one two right and um, <coughs> one is that you know that one is that symbol the number one of um like an, an angelic spiritual um connection uh, or not uh, energy and then that two would be the two ones so that's the coming together you know but these two people if you look at this if you can see it she's holding her cup out he's pouring something into the cup or the bowl while he's holding her hand so they are they are very much connected. And with that moon there, you know, that's kind of like the emotions begin to get revealed, but not fully because the moon the moon does cast shadows, but it does. So it's like there's an understanding between you and the other person, and there always has been. But there's also, um, because of s whatever the conflict was, it kind of put the emotions hidden, you know, re retreated, not sharing. Um, someone was overprotecting their emotions. And so I feel like they slowly, with just a little bit of that light, begin to come out again because of, because of having hope again or of some sort for some reason. Something, and I think the hope comes from having the communication. Even if it's just the communication to get past this betrayal and maybe apologize or which I, you know whatever it may be to try to go in peace or go together in peace because this is what this card is this is going together in peace because all, all this water down here is so chaotic you know it's turbulent and it's both of them getting out of that and going to these soft look how peaceful the water is here it's calm calming the emotions with mental uh, clarity but this is a transition that needs to happen it's it's not something that 
it's not a running away it's it's a necessary transition and so I will clarify the king of swords And, you know, if you're a male listening, you can just fill in the blanks for the gender. I think you're smart enough. You can figure that out. But I know Scorpios sometimes can just be a bit secretive or uh, they're very deep, uh, feel their emotions very deeply. Um, and when they feel safe with someone, feel like they can trust someone, then they share them. But oftentimes, Scorpios always get hurt uh, because they care so much, you know, and they're just so devoted and so giving. They want the best for everyone. But Scorpio, you always forget yourself. Like, you always forget yourself. You always, you know, your emotions are so deep and sometimes it's just too much to even feel them. Don't forget yourself, Scorpio. Take care of yourself. Okay. Yeah, so this, there is reconciliation coming. That's what judgment is. It's clarity. It's having a final decision. It's a wake-up call. It's figuring out your purpose. And so, even if this is your energy, Scorpio, your purpose now at this point is to be powerful to be intentional with people don't hide don't be vague act quickly in decisions that you make in your life don't dive so deep that you you know trust your intuition you were very good at that but lead now time to lead m m you know look back at your past these are revelations so especially with the blood moon eclipse that's happening tomorrow is july 27th you, you know that's entering in the and we're in mars retrograde so it's entering into this period of really taking stock of our past um of everything everything that has you know led you up to where you are today um be intentional with your realizations and and come out come out with them and from this point forward in your life um try not to because judgment and judgment in the reverse is you know secrets it's keeping secrets it's not being open and truthful and out in the open and i know that's not exactly the place you want to be at all times no one does but in the upright Remember that, you know, whatever you're intentional about, people will judge because people are human. Um, and that's what happens. And don't be fearful of what people think or say. Um, if, if you are in that place at times or you get find yourself getting there, it's okay to just, you know, try to be open and, and be open with another person too, especially... If you if you're aware that there is this 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 two of cups is like these are two people who mirror each other they're very similar in their love style in their their warmth their their head thoughts are very similar so You know, and I also feel like this other person, too, will be also um, intentional with you now. And that things will be revealed. Truth will come out. And, and that's what I was feeling with this Ace of Swords here. Conflict resolution is the Ace of Swords and communication. So yeah, your purpose is to be intentional from this point on um, and to make a decision about what you're going to do now, whatever that may mean for you. 
whether that is, you know, just because the cards are saying it, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll choose that. It's really, you know, you have that free will to do what you want. Um, but I do feel like there is someone that does want to talk to you and uh, does want to, is hoping for a miracle, is feeling hopeful. This person may have been closed off for quite some time or um, just kind of like feeling insecure, just hiding. And uh, I do feel like that person is hoping for that reconnection and that, you know, opening up, that revelation to come to make things right because the, the you know this they don't they can't it's not it's no longer time to stay in the pain that's over now it's in the past and that that will be i'm shuffling the wrong cards that will be the communication i feel that may happen during this time and it's great you know it's putting the past in the past and finding a way to move forward so let me pull a card from the Angel Oracle deck just to see what your guidance messages may be. I could just shuffle as fast as some of these other tarot card readers. I'm just like, wow, how do they do that? I'm just way too laid back. I just don't, ugh. All right, I'm just going to oh that's nice trust this situation is calling for you to have faith and this this isn't just for you of course this is for you know this is the energy that um and that's what i was seeing here with the star the star is about having faith and hope and renewal you you have to have faith uh, regardless of you know what's going on right now you know keeping your faith and your focus on for some of you, <clears throat> a higher purpose, a higher power, you know, um, God, Allah, whoever, whatever your religion is, Buddha, whatever, um, the stars in the sky, keep your faith and trust in that. Don't give up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to end your reading there, Scorpio. That was great. I'm done for the night. I think. No, I have a couple more. Um, <clears throat> but it, my announcement is that I'm going to try to do a live feed this Sunday. I told everyone last Sunday during our live feed that I was going to, you know, they wanted, you all wanted me to do it. And I'm, I'm but I'm not going to commit to it yet. I think the way I'm going to do it instead of making an announcement is I'll just show up in your, your, uh, if you've subscribed um, I'll just show up in your, your feed there. Um, if I do it, it would be Sunday, the 29th of July at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so if you're not doing anything, <laughs> definitely join. We just like to have a chat and I'll pull some cards and it's fun. We just chit chat. Some of you, some of you guys have me laughing so hard. Um, <coughs> Okay, I'm going to end your reading. I'm going to go, so I will uh, talk to you guys mid-August. Enjoy the uh, first half of August, and I will see you soon. All right, bye.